I'm Dr. Ashley Barrett-Young and I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Otago in the Department of Psychology. The Dunedin study started in 1972 um, and it comprises all of the babies that were born at Queen Mary Maternity Hospital in Ontipoti, Dunedin um, from one year between 1972 and 1973 and they've been followed repeatedly since then. So see every, every couple of years across childhood and then um, across their uh, adolescence and into adulthood. What began as a study of um, behaviour and development in young children has developed into a study of ageing now because we have some of the most comprehensive data on one group of people in the world um, with an excellent retention rate. So at the most recent assessment we still had 94% of the living study members uh, attending and providing data which is um, unparalleled really in a birth cohort of this size. We have received a grant from the Neurological Foundation of New Zealand um, to assess levels of PTAU 181 in the Dunedin Study Cohort. Hyperphosphorylated tau is an abnormal protein that's a core pathological hallmark of Alzheimer's disease. So it's something that we, we do see in people with Alzheimer's disease. And we're looking at a specific type of that marker, which is um, hyperphosphorylated tau at 301 181, or PTAU 181 for short. And it's thought that um, abnormal levels of PTAL 181 happen in the uh, can be detected in the decades before an Alzheimer's disease diagnosis. So it's thought to be one of the earliest markers that we can get um, that can potentially predict whether someone is in the very earliest stages of developing Alzheimer's disease. Uh, so they were aged 45 when their blood was collected, and we we're able to um, use those blood samples and use a brand new technology just recently available in New Zealand uh, called CEMOA. So it's an ultra sensitive immunoassay that can detect very low levels of um, particular protein. So in this case, PTAL 181. What we will do is assess whether those levels of PTAL 181 are associated with other data that we already have on the Dunedin study members. So we have structural MRIs, including machine learning algorithms um, that can detect how old a person's brain looks. Um, we also have comprehensive cognitive data that we can compare from across the life course to see who, um, who is experiencing the very earliest stages of cognitive decline, even by the age of 45.